I don't know. He's either going to look like a mastermind or a fool at yeah. the end of the series. I mean, that's how it always works when you play against these like combos that are considered very good because you're not certain how things work. But you have to be one of the few teams that like a lot of teams have to take chances, right? You can't just like say that this is an OP combo, nothing can beat it because something always gets touched in Dota. Yeah, no, it'll get figured out, I'm sure. But you have to take those few. You have to be a pioneer first, Paul. Sure. Somebody has to take a few of Look, the losses. If it gets them to the upper, if it gets them to the grand final, they won't care about that. Yeah, of course. They won't care that it gets banned out in five games out of five against them in the grand final. Yeah, of course. It it did its job, right? It yeah. got you a win. Yep. Yeah. And it got them through the LFY game too. Exactly. A lot of the uh, the carries are not good that are popular remaining. right now against this combination. So gyrocopters not really good. Five um, seconds remaining. Tiny, I mean, they, they, Tiny's they, also pretty bad versus this as well. You'd imagine that Vici have a plan for this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We're just not sure what it is. Um, Chaos Knight is good versus Razor, bad versus Omni, or not great versus Omni. Maybe they're going to draft like a Phantom Lancer or something. Yeah. They ban A themselves. I don't know. PL is like a weird hero. Um, he doesn't feel like a game winner. That's for sure. Yeah. It just feels like this hero, when you get two items, you feel okay. When you get three items, you feel okay. When you get five items, the enemy team has five items. And so you feel bad. Yeah. You pretty much just have to run over people, it seems. Well, they banned the Monkey King, so maybe it is the Chaos Knight. It's been one of the better ideas against it. Same with the Brewmaster. Like, maybe they could take, like, Bruce CK and just run at them. Yeah. Take the Razor out of the fight with a Cyclone. Purge off the uh, ultimate of Omni yeah. Knight. So instead of the Earth Sphere this time, it's the SK. Yeah. And they respond with Slardar Wyvern again. They don't want... They I guess they didn't want uh, DP banned in two. So the options that we thought of are still open, though. Brew and... It's an annoying laning phase, though. Yeah. But there's, like, no offlaner, I think, that really enjoys playing against Razor. Maybe you take, like, NP and just, like, right-click him with Treants. Maybe that's the answer. <laughs> they seem pretty confident right now, though. Newbie. The Raptor, man. It's nice against Wyvern. It's, like, one of the few heroes that feels like you do something. It's a very aggressive lineup, too. I think with like Razor Omni, the downside of this lineup Paul, is that you don't have a lot of catch because your because your Omni Knight has like zero catch, right? He's your offlaner that doesn't have a stun equipped to him. So instead of just picking a Sand King, because Sand King is not like a straight initiator in that sense, like because you eventually want to get out so you can charge your ulti and stuff like that. So you need other ways to start a fight. Like you need multiple ways to start a fight, and that's why Disruptor. Instead of picking like a hard lockdown, you pick something like this that can just start fights with I mean, disruption. In turn, it's interesting how Vici Gaming value this Brewmaster so highly yeah. um, for their lineup. I think they were pretty much locked into the Brewmaster before they even saw the picks because Disruptor is quite good versus Brewmaster. From a laning phase aspect, Thunderstrike is okay, but the bigger aspect being that you have an AoE control yeah. against the Brew. His It makes his initiation, if he blinks in, he has to almost instantly pop ult. You can't go for the clap. And then ulti because Static Storm is instant. Yeah, but I do like. Uh, I think Brewmaster is one of the better ways to deal with him, which is why they ended up uh, ended up banning him. And Razor is the other hero that, or Morphling is one of the other heroes that people seem to think does well against Razor. Although I think both times I've seen it, it's lost. Yeah, that doesn't correlate 100. percent But so our next suggestion was what, like CK? Yeah, I think we said Chaos Knight. Um, Slark. For newbie. Pick. Weaver's banned. They banned Slark. Oh, they banned Slark. Okay. Vici banned Slark. So for Vici, I'm still okay with the CK. I think you just take a BKB core. What else is there? Lycan or... 10 seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. I'd be okay with... I think it's still CK. What about Alina? 
uh, for newbie. Mm. DG Gaming already have their mid. Yeah, for, for newbie. Oh, well. Yeah, they do some sort of like safe lane razor and then mid yeah. Lena against a Death Prophet. Um, I think you take like more just like you take like Gyro or CK. Yeah, I think you. Um, I'd even be okay with Veno. Veno? Yeah, take the Venom Man. Mm. Take the Banana Mancer. And just go with this, like, ball lineup that pushes into you. Yeah, sure, why not? I'd be okay with... He ignores Razor and his Static Link shenanigans. The Bueno Mancer. Uh... I'd be okay with Weaver, too. No, Weaver was banned. I, I thought about that one. JK. I think Weaver is pretty good versus Razor. Yeah, I still I go with one of those two. I'd be okay with Veno, CK. And if you want like a really wild pick, what was the other one we listed? Oh, Gyro. Hmm. But I think Gyro has Gyro a lot of Gyro is pretty wild here. against uh, Razor. Plus the on me too. Really that would rough. be terror. That would be... you. You'd be pretty sad a lot. You'd have to snowball real hard. CK then? Yeah. I think it's almost no doubt in my mind. It's like similar to the Terror Blade in that it's kind of a, an illusion pushing high ground hero. Really good versus Razor. If this were old Dota, you could take AM here and feel really comfortable. Yeah. But it's not. <laughs> Don't be the next team that loses with anti mage Rishi. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, maybe that's what they're talking about. They're like, but maybe this is the anti mage Lone Druid. Okay. Not sure about Lone Druid against Razor, but um, it's okay, right? Yeah, it'd be like an excellent Slark game now for Newbie. Mm. Fortunately, they don't have that option. Ten seconds remaining. Medusa. Choose your hero. They got deuced. Oh, they've been deuced. Oh, so you got Omni Razor with a Medusa. Yeah. Hmm. Final draft analysis, boys. Work that one out. You can go they first. They threw also. me for a twist <laughs> on this. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if it's the be all end all of Deuce games. Is the Razor Omni combo too good already? Or are you convinced that Vici can But I also, it? I don't know, Lone Druids have been kind of, Lone Druids have been pretty slow. Like, the way I look at uh, Vici Gaming's lineup is that they want to be able to ball up and just blow over on Newbie. And I'm not sure if Lone Druid really gives you that power. The rest of the team does. So I'm okay with their, like, if it was just their first four, I would have right. actually taken Vici Gaming. Not sure about their last pick. Uh, I'm going to go with Dusa. Uh, honestly, it's just going to be, it's the difference between the two. I think Dusa is a more successful hero right now. Right. Okay, newbie for him. And for you? Uh, I think newbie. Okay, yeah. all right. A general agreement between the two analysts. Doesn't happen very often, so we'll take it when we can. They believe it's time for newbie to go through to the grand final. Vici, of course, have it all to do in this game number three. Let's head back to the arena with your commentary team. All right, a spot to the grand finals on the line and guaranteeing top two here, of course, of the perfect World Masters. Once again, I'm Breaky CBK, joined by Lacoste. We got game number three now, and we have our draft, an interesting finish to that draft there. I, I wouldn't call that interesting. Uh, somehow they managed to sneak uh, Medusa in as the last pick. Okay. Uh, usually we see Medusa being banned, not the flashiest hero to watch nor play. But there's but, good but reason the, why it's picked Yeah, but up. the win percentage on Medusa should be pretty high. Yeah. Same goes for Tide, Omni Knight as well. I mean, that's a lot of um, late game with the Medusa, Razor, and the uh, Omni Knight. Mm -hmm. it, could, it could go well for uh, Vici if they just uh, get the momentum, get uh, the free farm on Lone Druid, pressure the towers with, uh, with DP. It's gonna be on Young Eleven shoulders once again on that panda, which he shines on. Yeah. He, mostly so he will need to control the Omni Knight in those fights, so the Blink Dagger on him will be crucial. The timing, whether it's going to be 10 or 15 minute mark, we'll have to see. 
Yeah, that, that's that's no doubt going to be a big key for Vici Gaming's success there, as you're pointing out with the Brewmaster. But again, you look at Newbie's lineup, they got their very comfortable Omni Knight Razor combination. We heard the panel talking about even going into the series. Uh, this being game number three now, they managed to get their hands on it. On the other side, though, Paparazzi going to be playing the Lone Druid as the final pick here. Let's hold that thought, though, because Leash, Link, I should say, coming on the Young 11, so he'll be fine. I think a leash with the uh, Lone Druid, but gonna go for the Bounty Rune here, and it's actually going to be picked up by the Omni Knight. So three for one in favor of Newbie, but back to the Lone Druid. Is this a good LT game? How do you feel about it this time? Should be okay. Uh, they need that one uh, super late game scaling hero. Uh, I wonder what the build is gonna be. Probably uh, Radiance, so Medusa and Razor. The miss percent chance from the Radiance is gonna be good this game. Yeah. So is there any question in your mind that this is going to be a, a bear build on the Lone Druid? Yeah, I, I would suppose so. Okay. <coughs> He's going to be at the top lane up there, matched up against Omni Knight. As we see, Sand King is rotating over, so could get a little tougher for him. But really, for the first time in the series, it also seems like our middle matchup is just a true one versus one. Death Prophet versus the Medusa. Um, leaning towards either one. Do you think uh, Death Prophet maybe should have a good time here or what? Should be okay. Uh... That Prophet hero that uh, can be really ganked, uh, especially with the Sanking, he needs to be in your face. Uh, you should just use the Spirit Siphon. I mean, she's already uh, using that to harass CCNC. First CCNC. blood, that's yeah. gonna be happening. KP picks it up right there. Well, the stun of the Burl Strike, Landon was rotating over, but obviously couldn't get there in time. Yeah, that's the nice way to start a fight, the not showing Kaka where he is. Uh, and uh, what they wanted to do is just uh, give uh, Paparazzi a kind of a free matchup, free lane, so he can get a lot of levels, but uh, it kind of backfired. That it did, does have a massive creep wave pushing right here, so Paparazzi ideally gonna get some experience, but it ends up being now a two versus two at the top lane. With this uh, aggressive run at you idea, again, Omni Knight with that, uh, that DJ Nara, obviously good for that, and he got the Burl Strike stone on top of it, so two minute rune gonna be spawning. Oh, the bounty runes, it seems like they might be contesting, them being Sand King and the Slaughter. Who's going to pick it up? <laughs> They're really clashing. A couple more seconds. There's the crush, and it will be picked up by Slaughter, actually. In front of him. So, actually, Kaka does need to be a little bit careful. He does have a Burl Strike, so he's kind of manning up here. He's going to go in for the Burl Strike and then run away. That'll be the end of it. Both fours, not afraid to be uh, fighting one another. And both have stuns, so Permeshka uses it first. Gets the rune. Yeah. And there's the bottom lane, haven't really touched on that just yet, but of course Razor is down there in favor of Newbie, matched up against the off lane Brewmaster at this point. So Razor 7 and 2 links up on old 11. Young 11 once again, Faith just going to assist with a couple of auto attacks, but not really looking for the kill, just more so looking for more damage. They know uh, Brewmaster's uh, blink dagger timing is crucial, so that's why they want to help Brewmaster early on. Clap is ready. Yeah, you saw those misses coming out from Moogie. They were trying to turn on the Witch Wyvern. Now Moogie's the one that could be in some trouble, actually. Doesn't have the link up for another seven seconds. His Purge activates right there, and he will ultimately be able to run away. Faith now also going to be run down. The Splinter Blast doing some damage, but not enough. So nice uh, nice response, though, from Vici Gaming at the bottom. We're having some mic issues. Interesting build on uh, Omni Knight on top lane Bottle being picked up by Omni. Yeah, that's uh, not often we see that, but with yeah, the bounty uh, runes. And maybe we'll see. KP uh, played Omni Knight a couple of times. Uh, he went for super greedy build. Uh, mm -hmm. Midas with the, the GPM talent uh, going for Radiance. Uh, that didn't end up well. Um, so maybe he knows uh, he needs to change things a little bit. That could be the option. Different pace here. Still good in the phase boots. He queued up, of course, allowing him to run after you a lot more effectively with that Degenera. But yeah, bottom lane Brewmaster, again, uh, using the, or activating the miss chance on uh, Razor right there as they're looking to turn on Winter Wyvern using that Drunken Haze. Yeah, the cores on uh, Newbie's side at one point will probably be forced to go for uh, MKBs. The Drunken Haze, uh, Drunken Brawler, plus, plus uh, Radiance build on Lone Druid. I mean, he can still switch it up on Lone Druid. Mm -hmm. Druid depends how the game goes for him. If the game doesn't go well, you can switch to a range build. Yeah. So definitely a series that's, that's run its distance right here between two great teams, of course, going at it. We expected a, a fun one at the very least, and we, we've most certainly gotten it now. 
And this being game three of our best of three, again, a chance to get to the grand finals on the line, which will happen tomorrow in a best of five. Uh, no advantage by any means other than you just get to rest the rest of today and obviously look forward to seeing who you then play when it comes tomorrow. So our next matchup will be, though, Complexity versus LFY. And loser's bracket down there, the loser of this, then playing the winner of that to finish off our day here. What's been a quite the event, actually. This is, uh, what, day four, technically, here of the main event portion. Then we had the group stages before, so really it's about a, a week-long event. Yeah, it's going to be a seven-day event in total. In my opinion, this is the best format that we could ask for. Yeah, it's been fun. I, yeah, it seems like a, a lot of teams... A lot of teams and the players love it. Would agree with that for sure. S Triple C, middle lane again, taking the harassment of the Spirit Siphon. Or oh, we're just going to sit on top of him, but there's the mana shield. Well, going to be taken off, but. Oh, top lane. Paparazzi trying to run away yet again. Lanham comes in for the crush. Now KP has to be careful actually taking some tower damage. And the bear assisting a bit as well, but KP, that Degenera slowing down the bear. Paparazzi can't get a range of him, however. So he'll be good, but that's what Audi Knight offlane does, though, right? He they just he just runs at you. <laughs> it's hard to deal with it. Yeah, that's why he's one of the top picks right now. Though he might actually go down with that slaughter. Okay, TP coming out from Winter Wyvern. I don't think they have enough to actually oh. get a kill there. Yeah, using the Arctic Burn, which is a little bit longer of a cooldown as well, but could not get close enough. So they fall back. And speaking of falling back, Lone Druid going all the way back to base, at least on himself. He picks up a bounty room with the bear, so still being useful, despite being back in base. Panda's getting some uh, good levels on the bottom, almost level 4. Uh, once he hits that level 6, uh, if he can't do anything on a lane, kill the Razor, which he probably can't. Uh, maybe if he decides to focus on support, he should just uh, try to focus on other lanes, get some kills. It seems like Vici Gaming definitely has a lineup for that where, you know, you hit level 6, you want to try to make something happen. Not only the Primal Split, but Exorcism, of course, on Death Prophet. So we'll see kind of uh, how this, how the tempo of this game looks for Vici Gaming in these next couple of minutes, really. If you're Death Prophet, though, do you think, I mean, you just want to try to cast Exorcism and push Middle Tower right away, safe to say? Uh, yeah, but they're playing against Medusa, who's pretty static, doesn't want to leave the lane at all. Yeah. And is really good against the deep push and five manning. Bottom, well, young 11. Going to barely stay alive, but he gets glimpsed back the other direction. Almost had a chance to escape, it felt like, but it wasn't enough. And oh, taken out a by little Razor. mistake there by Brew. He didn't uh, skill the Drunken Brawler until he was dead. Okay. So if, if he skilled it, well, maybe he was saving it for the plays. Uh, so the first hit actually misses. He could have gone for that play and actually survived. Had a flask mm. though. Well, and the Eni is going to be back up now and coming back into the lane, of course. But still the kill successful for Newbie. More harassment at the top lane. Lone Druid, despite uh, being ran at quite a bit, he is 23 and 6. I mean, he's doing very well when it comes to last hitting here. It's Paparazzi. I guess we shouldn't be too surprised. Kinda. Two units against one. Technically, yes. <laughs> That helps, and obviously he throws Slaughter in there as well, who's pretty much been up here since the beginning of the game. Although that six-minute bounty rune is going to be taken away by Omni Knight. Well, that's a cool build with Omni. You can contest uh, those bounty runes, and now they're even closer to each other. So you get two pretty much. He doesn't get the second one, though, but still. It's very interesting that he went the bottle, though. Again, the idea of controlling runes is nice, but no Soul Ring, at least just yet. Soul Ring should feel so good on this hero. Yeah, it does because of that uh, extra six strength. And it gives you damage as well. Feels like a natural build in Tomlin. Like, ah. He might go for that build as well with the bottle still. I guess he wanted to be more active early on with that bottle. Just pressure the lone druid. Yeah. Ooh. Glenn, I'm trying to guess with the crush right there as the sandstorm was used by Sand King, but ends up missing. They're really killing the spare, aren't they? But uh, it's, it's a tough target to kill, and Paparazzi will actually just summon a new one, bring it back to full life. Yeah, in the laning stage, it feels so worthless to actually try to kill a bear. The first rotation coming out from Ori. Yeah. She knows she can't pressure that mid lane I was talking about against the Medusa. I wonder if they're going to just go and try to take a tower. Uh, Omni Knight has no mana whatsoever, so this might be the fall of uh, Tier 1 tower. Well, it's interesting that you were just suggesting that as they were attempting to kill the bear over and over again. They are going to try to kill Slaughter right here, but this could come at a cost now for Sand King at least. You have Omni Knight and Medusa now TPing in. 
realizing that they have to defend, so the Exorcism pull back from Death Prophet off to the side, though. They will eventually catch Slaughter. That is four heroes ultimately here. Yeah, uh, all those rotations uh, forced uh, from VG Gaming, so Nubi needs to move uh, on a mid lane. Winter Vibrant got some levels, and on the bottom lane, Panda knows he can play aggressive because uh, he just saw Disruptor and the rest TPing top, so he's gonna ha hit level six pretty soon. But going back to what we saw at the top lane there before that, that tower push inevitably happened, um, as, ooh, we're gonna get the Savage or the Sand King trying to run him down. But yeah, they, they spent a lot of time trying to kill that bear is what I'm getting at. And, yeah, that's, uh, as I mentioned, not not really effective, especially when you know he has another one. Yeah. Trying to trade hits with a bear is so useless. Feels pretty bad, man. So, yeah, and Paparazzi again spawns the new one, so it won't have it for a little bit longer, but again, as long as he keeps this one alive, it'll be good. But I, so I guess that's where you can argue. Now that they know he doesn't have a cooldown, granted it's up in 20 seconds, so even if they manage to just dive this bear and kill it, it's like, oh, well, we just summon a new one, so. Yeah, you want to be careful over careful, excuse me, over committing to oh, kill. Oh, slaughter in. with a smoke on a bottom lane. They need to be careful though. Static link, 150 damage stolen. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, so it's uh, gonna be on a little bit longer. Moki, he knows something's up. Pops the eye of the storm even, and you see the unstable current actually slowing down slaughter as he's just about to hit that stun. So no follow up to be had. Top lane, we're definitely seeing a dive right here. Paparazzi. Lone Druid, gonna be heavily dove on. Kinetic Field locking him into place, but now Ori's here, but he gets glimpsed back towards where he came from. I believe that was in the middle lane, and Paparazzi forced to fight him for himself right here. Even linking up the bear, still yeah, kill the bear damage. First. I kill the bear on top of that. So Lone Druid's still alive, he has another summon, but he needs to be careful, because yeah, if he yeah. summons and then dies, that could be bad. Yeah, he's being pinged out. I know he's in the area. He's still running. <laughs> you can see the camera following Paparazzi. He's going to pick up a TP, actually. Alondra will make the escape in the end. So, great, great escape on his part. And again, good job being patient as far as not summoning a new, another bear right away. So he'll, he'll regen and be fine. A lot of time wasted from Newbie's side. That and, yeah, it's almost like the glimpse back onto Ori right there. I don't want to say it helped Vici Gaming, but the fact that they didn't even kill the Lone Druid and he was just able to go back and just continue farming. Well, that's why the nice. is a good hero. Uh, you can dive aggressively. If they're not there with uh, support <coughs> steeping in, you can just glimpse one back yeah. and outnumber them. Yules will ideally help against that, though, as Death Prophet, of course, going for it. Pretty natural build on the hero. What about something like, you know, we saw in previous games of Storm Spirit, the first game it was, that Kaya is a popular item on specific, as Storm Spirit comes to mind. Death Prophet, one of these intelligence cores, is that ever an item you could see, though, on the hero? Just for the spam out, yeah. uh, there's always a better choice. I mean, you can almost buy the full Yule Scepter and combine with ulti, they just go on you. You Yule, your scepter, Yule Scepter yourself, get in the air, buy some extra time, and they're focused uh, by the exorcism, so he's gonna, always going to be a better choice. Yeah. Bottom lane, Winter Wyvern trying to run, trying to avoid right here. Oh, Young Eleven's going to help with that. Sand King ends up going down, so nice find there. Let's have a response, and there's the Primal Split actually going to chase after SCCC, who decided to come in on the Medusa. Mana Shield is up. You see the uh, the Storm Brutaling actually going after Omni Knight. Not going to throw him in the air just yet. The Static Storm coming out from Destructor, trying to help again. SCCC to stay alive. The Mana Shield activated once again. Ori, though, the suck on top of him will finish off the job. Moogie. Now the Unstable Current helps to finish off Winter Wyvern and Return, but Moogie's in a lot of trouble all of a sudden. He's in a horrible spot. Savage Roar waiting to Omni Knight as he's going to the heal. KP, he has a heal. That's all he has, though. Not much mana more to work with. He had a Guardian Angel. He could never find the time to use it, though. So a three for one in favor of VG Gaming. Great control on their part. Just fighting in those trees clearly worked to their advantage. Yeah, this is the first uh, Panda split plus DP ulti. They have an army, which you can't really focus. You have this uh, super tanky bear in front lines, 2.5k <laughs> HP, uh, Ghosts and Panda split. It's uh, gonna be really hard for Newbie to fight into that. Also, Death Prophet got uh, almost 2,000 gold uh, from that fight, maybe a little bit less, 2,000 in total, 1k from that fight, two kills plus a tower. Uh, also, Lone Druid has Midas up, Panda's getting close to his Blink Dagger, just 100 gold away. So with the next split, they can just pressure the mid tower as well, and even the top one, which is pretty low, half HP. 
The fact that Vici Gaming won such an important fight before they've gotten these key items is, I think, the, the biggest point to make there. So, yeah, the Yules is now going to be finished on Death Prophet. As another fight breaks out, I'm sure it just needs that Void Stone left before that's going to be finished. Omni Knight rotating back towards the top lane. Again, he wasn't able to use that Guardian Angel last fight, which is no doubt going to be a great tool in general to get off. But uh, I really think it's good because of the trees, where they were fighting, it constantly caused issue as far as uh, a hero like Omni Knight trying to help his teammates right there and get in position. So, again, great take from Vici. Drums is the first choice from Razor. Has full six charges to go on it. As Land M's going to be glimpsed back. But what do you think of the drums idea? That's the early item. Want to tank up a little bit, have that extra movement speed to, to work with the static link and the unstable current. And the, they're going to need to focus on those early items because uh, Vici will have to fight. I mean, they want to fight. Link Dagger is ready. Primal Split ready as well. DP LT 15 seconds. They, they can pressure either tier 1 on mid or maybe just try to force a fight on tier 2 tower on bottom. Medusa still doesn't have ulti up. She just got a level. Yeah. Mask of Madness, with, which will increase her farming. Newbie wants to keep the Radiance in check right here. They're smoked up in the top jungle. Paparazzi, he saw the Sand King, though. Those are in the area. It has support coming in, and Newbie has to fall back. Yeah, they, they got spotted, simply put. There's a ward up there as well, I see. Slaughter. The front lines. No blinks just yet. So obviously not that strong of initiation, but they do get a clip. Static Storm, and they're going to pull in Land M. He could not get the crush off because of the Static Storm. That Shrine Pop barely keep it alive. It's going to keep it alive at the end. And now here comes the turn in favor of the tire side. Out comes the Guardian Angel. The split is up from the Brewmaster. The Exorcism from the side. The Ori puts the Siphon onto Disruptor. Throws him in the air as well with the Storm Brewly. They do lose Slaughter. Omni Knight goes down, though, one for one so far. Moogie in the run. Not going to be enough. Go Crypt Storm finishes him off. And the rundown is real from Ori. Meanwhile, the Entangle hits Kaka. He gets a Burl Strike up. No TP, however, just delaying time before death here. A double kill for Paparazzi. How the hell did Slaughter survive for so long is the craziest thing there. They popped the Shrine. Huge mistake there by Newbie. Uh, they had a vision on top of the Shrine, but uh, yeah. they came uh, from the other side, which uh, helped them a lot. And uh, I mean, even if they killed Slaughter, they he doesn't deal that much of a damage anyway in mm -hmm. fights. And it's uh, fighting at the shrine, that's, that's the biggest key. And then on top of that, not having Medusa. That was the only hero that was not there in that fight between either side. Yeah, even with Medusa being there, I don't think they could actually take the fight. The yeah. Weechi Gaming now with Exorcism level 2 and Panda Split, I don't think they can take the fight. Yeah. You can just disrupt one, and it's pretty impossible to fight into Exorcism. And that, I think you go ahead. And that was the fight where DP had uh, arcane rune. So exorcism is going to be up uh, once again in uh, 60 seconds. They do finish off slaughter right there. So this time it works out, but obviously a much safer kill as they happen to find him roaming through their jungle. I was going to say that we also saw at the end of the replay and the point I meant to make earlier is that Death Prophet, you know, pretty good against Razor in the sense that she doesn't care about getting linked up. You know, she's not looking to auto attack you necessarily. Obviously, you still get the damage stolen if you're Razor, but she's, she's relying yeah, but on that exorcism and Crypt Swarm. And HP, that's more important. That's that's a very good point. So she'll uh, she'll get the siphon right back on top of you. And she's going to win that battle, it feels like, every time almost. So Savage Roar gets out of the Sandstorm. Kaka, can he actually escape from this? There's a silence as well from Death Prophet, but not going to be enough for the chase. That's something else that you always have to keep in mind with the Death Prophet is the silence now. And uh, I believe it's, it gets up to six seconds, if I'm not mistaken. It's pretty ridiculous. Yeah, for level four, it, yeah. it is six seconds. They just need to bite a little bit more time uh, for Lone Druid to get the Sacked Relic. He has enough gold to buy it after the tower. So we're looking at 18, 19 minute uh, Radiance which with, with a Midas, which is... So, so? No, it's, it's really good. That's actually pretty that, good. Yeah, okay. that's uh, the time you want to fight. Does he have a chicken? Oh, no. he's just going to TP yeah. out. What yeah. up? Well, at least they got a bear. <laughs> Get some bounty there, the 300 plus gold. The wrong but one, though. Summons a new one. And he's good to go once again. So you mentioned that Sacred Relic going to be online now. Yeah, just a matter of having enough for the pattern after the fact. Soul Ring is eventually purchased by Omni Knight, so he does go back to that. We mentioned that earlier. Um, he has the. Oh, he went drums himself, actually. We didn't really talk about that. We mentioned Razor picking up the drums earlier. Well, it's a pretty popular build on Omni Knight. Yeah. Just to give him that uh, extra move speed so he can chase, run away with the face boots. Uh, 
They're going Razor, aren't they? They want to kill right here, but actually Brewmaster decides to fall back. And Primal split up after the fact, so. Yeah, he thunderclapped early. I don't know if his, his blink got initially disabled or something, or if he just simply misclicked, but. Kaka, Sandstorm. No, is he going to be able to follow this up? Strike is ready, stuns it in on a Brewmaster right as he comes back together. Perfect timing. Winter's Curse saving it for the time being, though. The backlash Medusa beating his own teammate. Omni Knight will manage to survive another glimpse back. And this time, Blink oh, he out. blinks away again. Young 11 is too quick. Finally, they're going to finish the job. The glimpse after glimpse trying so hard to actually kill him right there. But ultimately, they do. It just took forever, man. They didn't lose uh, too much there. Uh, Slardar was farming on bottom lane, getting close to that blink dagger, and once the Radiance uh, kicks in uh, with the next Panda ulti, they'll just try to force fights because yeah. they, they feel like they're so much stronger, even though the advantage is on the side of Nubi. Medusa uh, uh, building into Lincoln Sphere. Good choice. Okay. Uh, because Panda can't uh, Yule Scepter you, just blink in and Yule Scepter, he will need to probably choose the Omni Knight, which is natural choice. True. Yeah, but it also good works good against the uh, Winter's Curse and the uh, Corrosive Haze. So timing uh, on the Blink Daggers for position four is pretty much the same. Sanking has one. There you go. And uh, Slaughter oh, also has one. Yep. Blink's coming out. Meanwhile, though, Vici smoking into the Roshan pit. They do have Slaughter, so Corrosive Haze applied. And with that Exorcism, they're fully committing to this. Now they scan out the Radiant team in the Ancient area, but I don't know if Newbie really even knows that this is good. Yeah, they're gonna scan themselves. They don't actually see anything with it initially. And that means Roshan is easily killed or he picks up the Aegis here. On a Death Prophet, so nice deal. And there's the Radiance pick up on the Spirit Bear. Now for Vici Gaming. So this seems like a pretty good timing. Wait for another Exorcism perhaps, and then try to make more with this now. Yeah, they have uh, late game as well. I mean, they have a Lone Druid, DP, Winter Wyvern. Panda also went for a Midas build, which will secure him the late game with the level two Primal Split. Yeah. Cooldown goes down for 20 seconds. Brewmaster, kind of having fun with uh, them here at the top lane. He's actually gonna go in with a Thunderclap. I don't think this is a kill necessarily. Well, maybe Casado's coming in as well, but the epicenter from Kaka, he split up right as he went in, though, with the epicenter. And now they're going to lock down Sand King. They purge him down, and Kaka, he'll be the victim when it's all said and done. So I guess that's better than Razor, but. Yeah, they know Epi is down, so they can't uh, defend the tier 2 tower on the bottom. They can just easily pressure it. No exorcism, though. True. On top, though. How much longer for that? About a minute. Minute? Yeah. Okay, they don't. And for the exorcism. Okay, Arcane Rune. He wants to save it up for later, if possible. Yeah. Maybe I mean, it's two else. Chinese teams facing each other. They're not going to risk anything too much. Okay, so Fenrir is just camping the rune until DP's ulti comes uh, close. Okay. So they can use it. Want to time this out right here, yeah. Wait long enough, doing the math. Be able to activate the exorcism when it's just about to wear off. You got Hannah Midas picked up by the Omni Knight. So mentioning that earlier, KP going back to it. Top lane though, as you say that. Yeah, that's gonna backfire. Easy kill. Rip, Hannah Midas on cool, or off cooldown. I think the better choice for Omni Knight, uh, okay, he didn't go for Midas. What? Did he not? No, no, no I thought no. he purchased he, it. Yeah, for, I was about to mention the four staff or oh. Solar Crest okay. against all the physical damage from Slardar, DP, Lone Druid. So, oh, Exorcism is up. Kind of might on the Courier right there, so yeah. Anyways, Razor, there you go. Axe is finished for Razor now. Get that delivered. So, Drums and Axe. I mean, this is a very objective based build here. As far as grouping up as a team, pushing towers, that I had a storm that much more powerful now, but this is not a Razor that's going to be the most threatening when it comes to his right click, you know, being that carry. Necessarily, but yeah. obviously you have Medusa Usually you build up uh, Aghanim Scepter when you're lacking uh, Siege for your own team. Maybe a BKB would have been a better choice because of the miss from the Radiance. Uh, also, Panda can't uh, use Yule on you. The miss chance from Drunken Haze as well. Or maybe what he wants to play is a split push game. Uh, just try to be on another side, uh, dodge the fights until uh, Medusa gets some items. 
We're gonna smoke right here and then grouped up in the area. There's that hand of mine to send Omni Knight. We have Lan M, Blink. Oh, they're gonna get the jump right here, it looks like. There they go for it. Omni Knight's the key target. Can they press him out fast enough? Stone Gate's helping. Grip Storm hits. But Omni Knight gonna stay alive for now. Medusa just beating down Slaughter. They also catch the Brewmaster. Cold Embrace will save him initially, but the Burrow Strike will finish the job. So, great response from Newbie this time. And now it's Vici Gaming's turn to run. As they will. Yeah, a bit uh, too deep from a VG Gaming side. They're giving away a lot of gold. Uh, also, nice reaction there from uh, Disruptor. They uh, pa Panda needs to reconsider uh, what he needs to do. Whether just uh, blink and uh, primal split, because if Disruptor gets a good reaction like this time, uh, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble. Or yeah. just build towards BKB. Uh, he has uh, Lad queued up, but. Uh, Spirit Bear already has one. Ooh, that's a good point, yeah. <laughs> Don't know if that's something you want to be, uh, want to necessarily nope. be doing. Nope. The drum's not as big of a deal. We we're talking about that earlier, but uh, Vlad's is definitely not an R. You want to be uh, stacking here, so yeah, BKP seems like it naturally could be in a good item choice for him. He has his own Hannah Midas currently off cooldown. Lone Druid pushing out bottom lane, meanwhile. Dragonlance just uh, finished on Medusa, was in the stash, so that's going to be delivered. The Hurricane Pike's going to be completed as a result. Bottom lane, they are smoking in, though. That Hurricane Pike could come into play pretty quickly if he goes back to the bottom. Once Medusa gets to level 20, she's going to be pretty unkillable with the, the extra 800 mana plus Omni Knight sitting behind her, plus a four staff of her own. Pretty Ooh. hard to take down. I mean, they don't have any any mana burn heroes on side of uh, Vici, anyways. Uh, Aegis just ran out. Yeah, and you're not you're not building Defusal really on any any of these heroes. I mean, Lone Druid would be the only candidate, maybe, but it doesn't feel like you're doing that. So, now the the ways to deal with Medusa if you don't have any mana burn is just to go with the minus armor, which they have from Slaughter. AC as well is going to come up with the Lone Druid at one point. Using the minus armor to try to take out Moog at the top lane. Sand King is coming over as well, so VG Gaming got to be careful about overcommitting to a chase here. And it seems like they will be careful about it, but he's just so damn fast. Hard to keep up, especially with a drum spot. So good escape from Moogie. And it seems like, yeah, this, this Axe is doing some work. I mean, he was pushing to our bottom tower early. He didn't actually kill it in the end, but that split push idea. Yeah, they just Working need to, be, to buy more time for Medusa to come online. She built all those um, early game items, even finished the pike, which is uh, not not a common choice. And it's good, especially if you have uh, play against heroes like a Clockwork. I mean, she can uh, save the allies as well. Uh, but she wants to be ready to fight. If they just uh, go all in yeah. on Vici's side and win a team fight, they can easily just finish the game from there. With the Lone Druid, the auras they have, the amount of damage coming coming out from exorcism to the buildings. B Protect BKB, the Medusa. Yeah, BKB is uh, ready on DP, 10 second BKB, some extra armor from plate mail. Uh, getting really close to level 17, now she is, so the extra ghosts, plus 8 ghosts, that, that means a lot yeah. if she hits level 18. And then you got the Shivas, yeah, on top of that, so gonna be even extra tanky. Rotating into the jungle once again, it's Vici Gaming using that smoke. Tanking. Gonna be pushing out middle while they maybe wrap around back to him. Could be an option. Yes, in indeed, they're gonna go for it. And that should be a kill. The four staff not gonna save him. Double damage spawns right there. If uh, Lone Druid, perhaps, well, I guess not even on him wouldn't necessarily be the best, so. The Brewmaster. <laughs> yeah, they don't really have the greatest double damage hero, do they? Is that a Beachy Gaming? Yeah. Oh, I don't know if they can take down the Tier 2 tower. It's so hard to push into Medusa. There she is, level 20, 800 mana sitting on 2k mana pool. What up? Pretty, uh, pretty damn tanky, yeah, the plus 800 there. Yeah, Talking Beachy about. does not want to commit too hard for this push because Roche may respawn. Uh, Pretty soon, so if they lose a fight here, they can lose, lose Roche as well. Oh, nice four staff away. Thunderclap missed, but maybe it did hit. But, anyways, he splits up with the primal split and now gonna try to push the tower. You see the, uh, the Storm Brewling does end up lifting up Medusa. It's gonna be a long lift, and they'll get the easy tower kill. 
fallback. So being a very, uh, very safe with this winter wire. But the winter's Chris in the back lines actually does end up catching one on Omni Knight, but not enough beat down it. Finish him off. They, they can't take this fight. Keep flying for the live land. I'm lost to take it. Catches the couple. Static Storm throwing down. Does get through Master. He's ready to use the Primal Split, though, remember. Coming back together. B can be activated by Ori. The Exorcism doing some damage, but SCCC is standing his ground pretty well. The Guardian Angel also helping. And now we see Ori throwing himself in the air. It's just going to delay the inevitable for him. The bear, meanwhile, is going to be killed off. Paparazzi's TPing out. And he does not have another bear, by the way, as that is going to be on cooldown now. I have no idea what they were thinking there. They were on the high ground, had a vision. Uh, Panda ulti already used, Winter Wyvern ulti used, and Roche may respawn, so Noob is just gonna take the Roche. That's what I mentioned before the team fight that they should not uh, try to engage there and uh, take a big fight. That really seemed like an odd choice, but honestly, that was on a give. We don't know for sure with their communication, but Lan M was the one that went in. He's uh, on yeah, Lan M plus uh, Brewmaster committed with the ulti. Mm -hmm. There's Very gonna initially. be Cheese Medusa, I suppose. Yeah, very likely, and then the Aegis on Razor. Good guess. Nope. nope. That's the other way. <laughs> Aegis on Medusa. And the Cheese I on Razor. I think the better choice would be to go the other way I'm around. With you, yeah. I mean, it gives her full mana as well, and the, she's really not uh, being contested. Medusa is not the one who's being focused. Mm -hmm. Definitely with you there, but either way, it's still both obviously very good that they uh, that they do have it. As we approach now 29 minutes, so yeah, Vici Gaming overextending a little bit. And now they're down 3,000 net worth, so Newbie, they're the ones that are starting to take control. You do see that quite the uh, the uphill right there as far as the net worth graph goes, our biggest lead of the game. Yeah, it's the 3K net worth for Newbie, uh, but it doesn't feel like Vici can take a fight anymore. Yeah. Uh, once the Guardian Angel is up, the DP ulti doesn't uh, deal damage, it's a physical da physical damage, so... There's so much to focus on the side of uh, Vici, they need to somehow control the Omni Knight, which they don't have too much, besides the Panda split, and uh, they need to not focus Medusa. Like, they need to Euler with uh, Panda as well. And it just doesn't seem like the bear is the scariest this game either. From Lone Tree, I mean, the Link obviously great against him. Medusa doesn't really seem to care too much either. So, yeah, as this game progresses on, or now about 30 minutes in, you kind of see that that point hitting of where Newbie is becoming a scarier threat now. Yeah, it feels like uh, the bear against Medusa. It's just an, another another unit for the split shot. Yeah. Uh, the most overall concern, as you see, there was cock up there at the top lane on Sand King and gets away. Shiva's is finished on Death Prophet, so a nice it's item to have. But it's, again, it's, it's not it's not really an offensive item necessarily, although AC is to an extent, which they also have now. So Panda with a BKB, uh, he can actually blink clap if he can find the disruptor. Maybe try to force Omni Knight to cast some spells on him. Ooh, gonna get the bear? No. Like, get out of there. But uh, as you're mentioning, Brewmaster, needing him to have the great initiation, really. That's what it comes down to. With that BKB especially, should help. Yules on Sand King coming along, though. AC for Razor is almost there, too. 2,800 gold saved up. So gonna respond with the one of their own now. Forward here. So newbie now a 5,000 net worth. It's a slow and steady climb for them, and they still haven't even got the bottom tier one. Finally, do right there, but just even more gold to swing in their favor. So VG Gaming. I mean, they're gonna try to push out the top lane, but remember, as far as like taking a fight too, newbie still has the Aegis and the Cheese. In fact, Moogie or Medusa, I should say, is actually gonna pour back to the base and push out a little bit at least. Well, if Vici, uh, well, Vici does not want to take a fight right now because yeah. of the Cheese and Aegis. So they could just try to split push a little bit. They have a good uh, ways to deal with it. With the Lone Druid, who's gonna go for Aghanim Scepter. Uh, DP ulti as well. Panda can also split push a lot. Bottom, they're going in Epicenter. Not gonna be nearly enough damage though. That what was is a that? bold attempt from Kaka is what that was. The crush hits and that was, uh, hey guys, was look at me. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bubble star. No, I don't know what the deal with that was. It's, it's like, I was looking on the minimap. Wait, is there somebody else there? No, it's just Sand King. Yeah, okay. 
He was he was trying to make some big plays, but uh, yeah. that that backfired big time. Error 404. <laughs> Obvious reason not found. <laughs> you mentioned Lone Drew going the axe himself. That's a very interesting idea. The, of course, if he dies, the bear still is useful. Yeah, but uh, it removes the range from that which too, bear yes. can attack. So he can just split push with uh, Hero Bing in the base. So that's more of the idea. Yeah, so just like uh, split push, avoid the fights. Scotty finished on Medusa, uh, getting close to that level 25. Split shot uses modifiers. Uh, that's going to help a lot against the Brewmaster split. Let me just check. Uh, Brewmaster has a nullifier queued up. Ooh. So th this is one of the items that I like the most. Uh, Besides the spirit vessel, yeah. So you can't pop a BKB, you can't uh, pike yourself. Pretty much, you're just gonna stand in place. Especially, is good against the BKB carriers. That's what I think. It's it's not even necessarily the purge itself or getting off buffs or whatever, which is obviously still good. But it's the silencing of the items that that really is what makes yeah. it a good item to pick up eventually. So. As you're suggesting right there, yeah, not one we get to see too often. It has a very clunky build up, again, being the Sacred Relic involved, but it'll be also some decent damage for the Brewmaster, who can start hitting pretty hard with that Drunken ball Brawler okay, passive. Okay, he just says, uh, I don't want to go right. that. I'm going for Heaven's Halberd. He gave us points to discuss, at least. But. Yeah. Well, Heaven's Halberd, uh, also one of the items he can pop the Lincolns on Medusa with. True. There's, there's not too many spells they can pop uh, the Lincolns on her, though. Yeah. A little bit of help there, and also, worst case, if it ends up disarming Medusa, not too bad either. Also, one of the strongest things in Dota right now is uh, when Panda hits level 25. Uh, if he goes on level 20 for that uh, extra u extra HP for Panda units and the minus 65 split Were you cooldown. casting that game with me? Nah. Okay. Ice Size was playing it, right? Yeah. It was five seconds uh, downtime. It was in the Octarine group stages core. there, yeah. yeah. It was insane. They, they literally, the other team that they were playing, I forget what was at the time, but they could not even do anything. He would just send in the two gruelings, keep the one back, <laughs> they just rinse and repeat. So. Uh, I don't think that's going to be so good here because of the Medusa and uh, her being able to cut it down those units, mm -hmm. slow down. I mean, plus a split shot, she deals a lot of damage to, to those. Yeah. Could have a fight here. It's been a while, it feels like. It's only a 12 to 12 game, 35 minutes in, so very passive game. Again, this being game three, a chance to go to the finals on the line here for the Perfect World Masters. No fight. Or he will push out the middle instead and more farm to come. But you gotta think, I mean, I know, understand why both sides want to keep farming, but this seems like it's just gonna keep favoring more and more newbie. Especially with that Medusa, Razor's definitely starting to take advantage of the farm now. Yeah, but think about it this way. If they get six slotted first, they can't build any items more. And you have Lone Druid who can build 12. <laughs> That's very true. The the very, very late game is there. Obviously, a third Roshan is, of course, on the menu, too. Um, refresher Shard. Oh, the, the Refresher that. Shard Extra on that season. Prophet. Yeah. Even the double Winter Vibrant ulti sounds good, but... Uh, double that, that Guardian Angel. I mean, both sides have very good abilities for it. Double Sandstorm. Wow. Some may say that's one of the best ever, yeah. Yeah, Roche uh, may respawn in 30 seconds, so the bottom lane is getting uh, pushed a lot from that uh, Lone Druid. He does yeah. not want to risk it. Medusa will have to invest uh, pretty soon in uh, BOTs to deal with that split push. She is level 25, yeah, by the way. she just bought it. Uh, <laughs> so you see right there the attack modifier split. As a result of being level 25, top lane, nope, just farming. Nope, maybe not. Kaka going in, Epicenter. This time he has plenty of teammates up for him land with a quick reaction. However, it might be all for not. Looked pretty, but still going to be the end of him. Just a matter of time. Moogie will take credit for the kill. And meanwhile, Spirit Bear just sitting on the bottom. Uh, Medusa, they just saw Medusa using uh, BOTs to TP top. So Lone Druid can maybe take some damage uh -oh. on that tower. Oh. Forced to react to the BKB. That's obviously a good choice in his part. Else he's going way back. Young 11 also jumps in now. Disrupt here. He's being beat down. Pearl Strike at the back line. Since Winter Wyvern, they do take out the Brewmaster, actually. And so do they, the Winter Wyvern. That damage. Yeah, but the bottom lane, they just use a glyph, and that's it. Tier 3 tower being beat down. Omni Knight finally comes in. So does Cock on the Sand King. Ori, can he somehow connect? Do they have a stop? I don't believe so. Oh, yes, they do. 
Because Glimpse back, actually, they had the range. The Glimpse range is absolutely absurd. They're going to finish off for you as a result. And he is dead also with no buyback. So sure, Lone Druid just putting the pressure on that tier three tower, but he loses four teammates in the process. Yes. Don't think that's what you're looking for. If you're Vici Seems gaming. like another miscommunication by Vici. They were trying to split push on the bottom and uh, the rest decided to take a fight. The premature pop uh, BKB from uh, DP. They couldn't uh, take the fight there. I mean, and the slaughter was dead. It was premature, but at the same time, she had to because it was the glimpse. It was like, they, they, but they were sticking around close enough for the glimpse to even hit. Yeah, it was it was a very clunky fight for Vici, but obviously great job by Newbie capitalizing on it. The lead continues to grow. They're going to get top tier three after already clearing up the middle set of racks. They're going to get these. I mean, she doesn't even have a buyback. There's yeah. two sets of racks. 30 seconds. And the Rose just respawned, which has the refresher shard. Omni Knight, 4,000 gold. You can just buy a... If he wants, he can buy Aghanim Scepter, use it twice, and they just wipe the Raxus, and yeah. that's pretty much it. That's very true, actually. You can defend that way if need be. So Roshan being up. They've got the two set of racks, though. Total control for Newbie. They're going to spot Roshan. Going to spot that Refresher Shard sitting on him. And yeah, you look the lead again, just continues to grow. Yet again, the biggest lead they've had so far. Look what being, uh, what's being built on Medusa, by the way. Yeah, she just finished Mjolnir, and uh, if she sells a uh, Mask of Madness, she has enough gold to buy a uh, full Rapier. I mean, she's not contested in fights. They're not yeah. dealing any damage. So to her. why not? I mean, MKB you were talking about earlier could could potentially be just maybe the safer route, but well, hey, we're, let's have some fun here. I, I don't mind it. <laughs> For S triple C, yeah, you know, he's, he's not worried about dying, especially with the Omni Knight support and the way this game's looking at this point. They I'm only down for a rape here. Of course. And that will be a Roshan attempt now. So if you're Vici, I mean, I know this is not a good fight, but I almost want to, do it's, you have to fight. try to defend? Yeah, it's the fight they need to take. I'm not know. even trying, though. Yeah, it's uh, being pinged out. I'm not sure they have enough time to actually get there. You look at Sand King, he's going to keep, he's going to be a distraction if anything. Nearby, he blinks away. Medic Field even put down to zone them out. You have Lundrid pushing out the top lane, of course, during this. There we go. Gonna try to make it close. Sand King stuns in. The BKB is being popped all over the place. Aegis is picked up by SCCC. Stone Gaze on to Brewmaster. As soon as he jumped in, he couldn't even get off his promise. Oh, okay, maybe he could. He actually gets it off at the last second. Ori exorcism very defensively. BKB sitting back there. He's being run down by Moogie with his own BKB. Brewmaster, well, one breathing left to be in the Earth one. You see the Winter's Curse locking down Moogie a little bit longer. Will allow Death Prophet to get away initially, but the Glimpse back brings him right back in. The Spirit Siphon taken up, but that should eventually be a kill on Ori as it comes back down. Down from the Yules. They took out Disruptor. They lose two, though. They still have the Aegis on Medusa, of course. And guess what's being delivered? Yeah, I'm they pretty lost, sure. They lost the top Raxes, though. Uh, Lone Druid was there and uh, managed to take down half of the tower HP. But uh, what's going to happen next? I mean, they, they can't take this fight anymore. Medusa, Rapier, and Aegis. Do they have a cheese? Uh, was they used last fight? I'm not sure. Yeah, they used two cheeses last fight. And who fight. has the Sharn? Do we know? Not sure as the shard. Maybe it was even used during the fight, but yeah, heart on Razor right there as they're pushing in. Obviously a last stand of sorts for Vici Gaming, but Newbie looking too strong, honestly. Tier 4-1 goes down. The second one's still alive, but S Triple C just wrecking everything that comes in range of a split shot, including the Lone Druid Bear. The first one's dead. He spawns a new one. Does Lone Druid himself. Young Eleven even tries to poke him, but he's just having to run away now. You see well plays coming out from KP. He knows this is the beginning of the end indeed. Young Eleven pops to be KP. GG's are being called. It's official. Newbie going to the finals here of the Perfect World Masters. VG Gaming will drop down to the loser bracket finals to play later on today. Yeah, seems like uh, the opening uh, Razor and Omni Knight, uh, it does not it's good. lose. Yeah, it's good. The plus, uh, they went for even more late game with Medusa. They just needed to buy more time to Medusa to come online and uh, farm some items. At, at one point, it looked like Vici could take those fights, but uh, a couple of mistakes just... Uh, just... Uh, Did it work? Feels like a miscommunication a couple of times when they try to go on a mid tower and now on the bottom, whether they want to take a fight or just to dodge a fight. Yeah. Is Lone Druid a good hero right now? I mean, is that part of it maybe as far as the draft? The 